What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Metal Gear Solid movie concept art that director Jordan Vogt Roberts has released over the last few years. Now this is a film that I've spoken about before, it's not actually out yet and it's not actually in production, but it's one of my... Well, it's a film that I'm excited to see because I'm a big fan of the Metal Gear franchise and I think it would work really well as a film or in, in some form of medium live action so that could be a tv series but you know di the director jordan Vogt roberts has been working on this for about seven years now and i've actually talked about this in another video which you can see link with the link in the description and that is actually my most popular video to date, so if you haven't watched that already, I'd appreciate you going to check that out. So basically, the concept art has been commissioned by the director, even though there's no... A script is has been written, but there's no pre-production yet. Like, the director is really just using this concept art in order to sort of sell the vision to the studio behind it. And at the moment it doesn't know we at the moment we don't know if this film is gonna go ahead or not as it's been in development hell of hell for quite a long time. But we'll just have to see how it goes. So I'm gonna take a look at these pieces of concept art and I'm gonna briefly talk about each one. So the first piece we've got here is it looks like Merrill, Solid Snake versus a Metal Gear. So this is sort of from the first game. So, so basically, there's a lot of crossover concept art, so we don't know if the film is going to adapt the first game. It doesn't look like that at the moment, and Vogt Roberts has said that he wants to capture sort of the spirit of the entire franchise, so it's not going to be a direct adaptation of the first game or any game in particular. So as you'll see in the concept art, there's some sort of crossovers between characters who never met or characters who interact with with something that wasn't really in their game. So first piece we've got here is you've got Solid Snake and Meryl in a truck uh, against a Metal Gear. So we've got a snowy setting similar to what we get in the first game, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I don't believe this happened. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched that gameplay. You know, I've not actually played the first two games in the series. I've only played from Snake Eater onwards in the main canon. But I've gone back and watched the gameplay of the first two games because I'm interested in it. So... Next piece. We've got quite a lot of Metal Gear... We've got quite a lot of Metal Gear sort of in different environments just to show this sort of military industrial complex world. Another, so this looks like, yeah, this is Big Boss, Naked Snake, running from another Metal Gear. One that looks a lot smaller than what we're used to. Okay, so this is from the fourth game, Guns of the Patriots, where Liquid Ocelot fights Solid Snake. Although, from the looks of this, this looks more like Big Boss versus Liquid Ocelot, who they never met in this circumstance. You know, this part of the game, they have like a fist fight similar to something from like Street Fighter or Tekken, something like that. And so these characters didn't meet and fight in this circumstance. So it's just nice, one of the nice crossover things that the director's commission for these pieces of artwork to be done just to sort of give us an idea of what this world could look like. Okay, so this is... Hmm. So Vulcan and versus... I believe this is Big Boss. I'm not too sure. It kind of looks like Chris Evans in this concept art. Um, there have been, there haven't been any announcements of casting. There's been plenty of fan castings, and it's not uncommon for concept artists to use famous actors in order to develop their concept art. 
but I do think that looks like Chris Evans in my opinion. Let me know if you think it looks like anyone different because I'm not too sure. Okay, so this is Big Boss uh, lighting a stick of dynamite with a cigarette. This kind of cool concept art showing like the younger sort of elite soldier that he was. Okay, this one's quite good. You know, it shows both Big Boss and Solid Snake in their different time periods. So on the left-hand side, you've got Big Boss fighting a wolf coyote. Not too sure what kind of animal that is. And then on the left hand, on the right hand side, you've got Solid Snake in the future, or modern day, I should say, fighting a robotic wolf. So for those of you who don't know that Big Boss, his story, Naked Snake, takes place in the 60s, and then Solid, Solid Snake's story does take place. If you go on the game canon, it's the 2000s, and then I believe Guns of the Patriots is the nine, um, is 2014, I believe, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so this is Frank Yeager, Cyborg Ninja, fighting a gecko and a Metal Gear. So Frank Yeager is only in the first game, and then he never comes across the geckos, but I think there's more concept art featuring him and geckos, which were shown off in Guns of the Patriots, the fourth game. Um, this one, I believe this is a reference to the Phantom Pain. So we can see it looks like Solid Snake, but it actually looks like he's with Venom Snake from Phantom Pain in the bandages. You know, if you remember that part where he's um, escorting a character called Ishmael. I won't spoil that part of the story but it looks like that's what this artwork is taking from and then they've added in they're being chased by soldiers with dogs and then there's another metal gear like looking for them uh, this is a really cool one so this is um frank yeager cyborg ninja again like this this piece was released this year on jordan vote roberts twitter you know, some of this artwork has come from 2018 when he sort of released it to sort of encourage people to get behind the film in the hope that it would get made. But this this piece is far more recent and th maybe this means that the character is playing a major part in the rewrites if that's going on. You know, I'm not too sure what's happening with the script right now and if the film is going to go into production. I think Vogt Roberts has... He's, ha he's worked on it for so long that it's, I'm really unsure if the film is going to come out. Maybe it will come out one day, but, you know, if it was going into production next year, for example, I'm sure we'd have heard by now. But as of yet, we haven't heard anything. Another piece re released quite recently. So this is Sniper Wolf from the first game. She's taking on um, Solid Snake. So I believe their sniper battle takes place place at night so this is just a different take on it um sort of showing the interactions what the characters might look like another another piece sort of not from any game so you've got frank yeager solid snake revolver ocelot and i believe that's sniper wolf i'm not too sure even though she doesn't look like she's brandishing a sniper rifle so this would have been at the Shadow, Shadow Moses, which is from the first game, and then returned to in the fourth game. So they've been surrounded or caught when they're sneaking around in this concept art. But as I said, like I'm not sure if this happens in the game. Like This in particular, I didn't think Frank Yeager was on your side. So don't quote me on that. I apologise if I've got it wrong. Okay, so this is quite an interesting piece because... During the first game, I know Solid Snake is tortured by Revolver Ocelot. And in this one, it looks like Big Boss. However, some people are speculating this is actually Venom Snake from The Phantom Pain, who is sort of identical to Big Boss. And if you play the game, you'll understand more about the story. But it, it appears that, you know, his character is killed off in the Metal Gear games, the ones before it 
the games that came out before Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation. So this is a cool crossover. You know, the characters did meet in canon, but this scene never happened. And then you can see Sniper Wolf in the background too. Okay, so we've got two cool pieces quite here. So this is linked to that one earlier with you've got Big Boss back in the past and the Solid Snake in the future. So on the top there you've got Big Boss fighting against wolves, coyotes, some kind of dog animal. And then you've got in the modern day, you've got Solid Snake fighting robot dogs, robot wolves. And I, I think, you know, there was talk from the director that the film could jump from past to the future and have an interconnected story. You know, I, I'm not sure how that would work. I think, you know, I've seen that in films before. Obviously, Godfather Part Two is a good example of jumping from the past and the present. So something similar could be done, but, you know, it has to sort of make sense story-wise, which I'm, which I'm sure it will. Okay, so we got more. They're not Metal Gears, but they sort of look like they're inspired by Metal Gears. And from the looks of this, looks like it's from the Vietnam War. I may be wrong. So, you know, this world that Hideo Kojima's created with Metal Gear, you know, that is the military industrial complex. You know, that plays a big part in Guns of the Patriots, where when guns and weapons are all deactivated, sort of the world's economy crumbles because this world relies so heavily on warfare. And obviously there's sort of more advanced technology in this universe and looks like they've got these early Metal Gears in the Vietnam War. So here's another one um, referencing both the Phantom Pain and I guess the first game, uh, Metal Gear Solid. So these are like the zombie like soldiers from Phantom Pain. And you've got Metal Gear in the background and it looks like that's Psycho Mantis by the Metal Gear. I'm not too sure. It's not clearly him, but you know, he's got the, f he's floating, it sort of looks like him. But obviously he's only an outline shadow. So it's another thing of bringing ca uh, character, a character, Solid Snake, to antagonists who he never faced in any of the games because, you know, they're from different time periods. So, as the director said, you know, he's combining elements of the games, putting them together in these concept art pieces, just to sort of give us an idea of what the film could look like. So this... This might not actually happen in the film, but, you know, it's just giving us a sense of the world. So this is Liquid Snake torturing Solid Snake, Ron. But I'm not... Although that could be Big Boss, I can't really see... You can't really see his eye, it looks like, when he got his eye shot out. But, you know, if that is Liquid, or actually, looking at it, it could be the boss. I'm not too sure, torturing Naked Snake. Like, um, a lot of this concept art I found isn't labelled with what it is. I mean, so I'm sort of just speculating and discussing what I think it could be. So I don't know if this is from the Big Boss Naked Snake period in the 60s or this is the Shadow Moses incident and that Solid Snake, I'm not sure. OK, this is probably one of my favourite pieces I've seen. So in Guns of the Patriots, Solid Snake has this suit, the camouflage suit that really useful in the game and seeing him blend into the wall like this. And it's not old Snake here, you know, because obviously Solid Snake has advanced aging genes and that makes him older in Guns of the Patriots. So it's a younger version of the character blending into the wall with two soldiers going behind him. Like This really highlights the sort of stealth element of the games and you know the advanced technology that we could see in the movie as well for the in in this in the universe so here's another piece so there was quite a few pieces of metal gear of metal gear sort of standing around in the world so this looks like uh asian farm and you've just got a metal gear standing over 
No, it doesn't appear to be attacking. Obviously, the farmers are all quite calm. So it's just sort of showing, like, this world, these characters are used to seeing Metal Gears in this world just because they're so used to conflict and war throughout their whole time period. So here's another one of uh, Frank Yeager, Cyborg Ninja, against a Gecko. As I mentioned earlier, they don't actually cross paths in any of the games. Gecko is from Metal Gear Solid 4, and Frank Yeager is from Metal Gear Solid 1. But you know, it's a cool standoff, and with Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, he plays a similar role to what Cyborg Ninja does. And, you know, he takes him on in a similar fashion. So, you know, it's sort of bringing an older character into one of the more recent games in this concept art. So you've got here Frank Yeager sort of committing suicide in the Japanese samurai way. This doesn't happen in the game. I don't really know what this represents, if it's a more psychological sort of dream sequence, you know. You've got characters like Psycho Mantis in the Metal Gear universe, so this could be part of that, and it's not actually happening in the universe. Obviously, this is just concept art, as I've said, so it's not its not what's in the script. It was just sort of giving the artists working on, on this art like creativity to sort of like, what would this look like? And they had a lot of creativity to sort of as I mentioned, characters not interacting with one another and like this showing a character's death different to how it is in the games. Another one, you've got Metal Gear on a military base with Soldier overlooking it. You know, quite cool piece. So this is a gecko in... So I guess this would be Alaska or Canada and you've got sort of Inuit Eskimo people, like the Asian farm, Chinese farm. You know, these people are just used to having Metal Gears around, perhaps because of, you know, this world that's so heavily reliant on warfare. So another Metal Gear in the snow, and you see Husky Dogs here. I'm not sure which character this is, you can't really tell, probably just another randomer just like passing by but you know he's got a m16 rifle on his back so i don't know if that could be solid snake maybe it is so famous f from metal gear solid 3 snake eater you've got the boss versus naked snake aka big boss you know the iconic fight they have where snake actually has to kill her in order to protect So here we've got Otacon running from Geckos in what looks like Shadow Moses. Obviously Geckos weren't in Shadow Moses, they were only introduced in Guns of the Patriots. But you know, crossing over again multiple games just to sort of give us a sense of what this world could look like. So here we've got Revolver Ocelot and a helicopter, attack helicopter. So this is at Shadow Moses from the first game. Not, I don't think this is directly adapting, this isn't a direct image from the game, but you know, it's something that did, would have happened in the game's universe and, you know, easily be adapted into the film, especially if they were directly adapting the first game into a movie, which I said, I don't think they're actually doing, it's going to take from all parts of the game's canon, but you know, this is quite a cool piece seeing Revolver Ocelot, older Revolver Ocelot, obviously he was around with Naked Snake and Big Boss in the 60s, 70s, 80s. Another Metal Gear firing rockets, not clear where this place is. This is a uh, Metal Gear Rex, I believe. So another piece, I believe this is from Guns of the Patriots, just before you go through the microwave corridor and you've got these sort of drone things and you've got Solid Snake there but it's a younger Solid Snake so it's not the character from Guns of the Patriots but it's another crossover from multiple games 
this is a really cool piece. We've got solid snake versus this giant snake. So this is taking on part of more of the mystic, sort of the magical, the sort of surrealism of military warfare. So it's a really cool piece, you know. With, when, when, it, when adapting Metal Gear, you could easily just do a straight-up action movie. You could do a Cold War spy movie, a modern spy movie. But, you know, to bring in some of the supernatural elements that are in the games, but, you know, they're sort of just accepted in-universe, I think that'd be really cool. Two pieces here. I've got Solid Snake on bikes running away from... you got sort of small metal gears at the top and actually that's big boss at the top i believe and then because those are the early metal gears that similar to the vietnam war period and then you've got geckos in the piece below and a solid snake escaping them obviously they the two characters mirror each other in the different time periods as the war is a cyclical thing you know history keeps repeating itself so that's why Big Boss and Solid Snake's sort of destiny is linked, and you know, it's war is, keeps repeating itself throughout time. So another one on the top there that looks like. Yeah, so that's Big Boss, Naked Snake in the. So that's the early period, so that's from the 60s. That's not from any specific game. He's tied up and captured. And then below you've got. Which is, uh, you've got Frank Yeager, the cyborg ninja against more geckos. Sort of that's a homage to the scene where Raiden takes on all the geckos in Guns of the Patriots. But obviously, you know, bringing that character from the first game into the modern day. Sort of combining multiple games into this film universe. Another one of... Solid Snake with a rocket launcher against Metal Gear Rex. Not much to say about this one, you know, there's plenty of the Metal Gears with just facing off against Solid Snake in these concept art pieces. So, this one I wasn't too sure about. I found it on a website uh, because this looks like it could actually be from a video game. But, you know, designing sort of the character's looks, you've got sort of like a techie suit on the right hand side so that could be the camouflage suit and then you've got hooded suits on the right on the hooded suit on the left hand side which does sort of look like actually looks like it's from Death Stranding so I'm not too sure if that is concept art from Death Stranding and this has just got mixed up but you can see a costume of sort of the bad guys who would be at Shadow Moses and in the centre there, you can see Big Bosses and Solid Snake's costumes. But as I said, I'm not sure about this one because this looks like it could be from games. This could be concept art from the games. I'm not too sure. Okay, so you've got um, Metal Gear... Sn Metal Gear Seek, I think he's called. So he appears in... I know he appears in Guns of the Patriots because you fight... Liquid Ocelot in it, I believe, and you've got what looks like mm, could be Big Boss on a horse riding against him, so that could be from the earlier time period. Another cool piece. So, this looks like it's referencing the knife fight that is seen in the trailer for Phantom Pain, and then it's bringing Solid Snake and Frank Yeager fighting each other. You know, they don't. I don't believe they cross paths in this way. I believe they're both elite soldiers, but they weren't training. I think they were training together, but, you know, they weren't enemies. I'm really sorry if I've got that wrong. I can't remember how much of the role they play. Uh, well, Frank Yeager, at least, in the first game. But this sort of looks like it's taking the characters from Metal Gear Solid 1 and sort of putting them in that scene from Phantom Pain, which is quite interesting. Okay, here we've got the death of Sniper Wolf and Solid Snake walking away and then she's going to end up getting eaten by wolves at this rate. It's quite cool, you know, it's sort of a homage to how the boss dies in Snake Eater 2. You know, he ex uh, Big Boss executes her in the flowers and then all the flowers go red. I think there's more concept art on that. 
and you know back again to like sort of how history repeats itself so you've got solid snake in a corridor against frank jaeger so sort of bringing the stealth element and then sort of quite a bloody battle has gone on where frank jaeger's used his sword to kill these enemies in the corridor this is quite a cool one this kind of reminds me of something like what michael bay would do if he was in charge of metal gear so you've got the silhouette soldiers with the big metal gear in the background sunset so it's a really cool piece yeah so as i mentioned earlier like similar to with sniper wolf in the snow this is big boss killing the boss and in the game sort of the grass only goes red after you've executed her here we've got young revolve ocelot with a early metal gear next to him and he's on one of those weird bikes like a tank bike so this is from the vietnam period the 60s 70s period as he's still got his red russian red beret on and finally there's this piece here which Vogt Roberts has spoken about as this was they didn't have this wasn't an indicator of which actor they were going to hire for the role but they used Christian Bale's likeness in order to show off this concept art and this is you know it's still a young solid snake but he's got the sort of eye pat the modern eye patch from Guns of the Patriots and he's facing off against geckos you know he's hiding behind the car and he's got the lit cigarette so, you know, Christian Bale could get cast in this film, I'm not too sure, but, you know, they have said that this is not an indication of who they want to cast, but just who they felt was best fit, sort of, what the character might look like. So there you have it, that's all the concept art that I've spoken about, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'm really interested in the Metal Gear series, the franchise, the games. And, you know, I'm really keen to see what this could look like on the big screen. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you'd like to see from a Metal Gear movie. So if you want to talk about that, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you and we can have a discussion about it. And if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe, click the bell icon to receive notifications. You know, my channel is growing at the moment and I'm happy with all the video content I'm creating. And, you know, I just want to share it with people who have similar interests to me in, in regards to films. Please give this video a like and thanks for tuning in.